Uh, what do we have next? Oh, this is this is a good one. I think <laughs> I think the answer is pretty obvious. Um, Venom Fang X. That's that's who I'd pick. I mean, he's just he's just got those high cheekbones and the sort of that little square jaw and that Adam's apple. I love the Adam's apple. <clears throat> But but I, I digress. I'm not gonna, whew, I'm not gonna go there. Uh, but there's your answer. Yeah, yeah, it's likely. Um, it's probable. Uh, uh, eventually, if we don't get our shit together, um, you know, we've got global warming. We've got nuclear war. There are a lot of things that we can do to screw ourselves up. And so far, there hasn't been a an enlightenment about that yet. Um, we haven't really done much to correct the things that would head us in that direction. So uh, I'm nervous. If, if that answers the question, I'm, I'm nervous for my children. Uh, maybe I'm even nervous for me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I think it's, I think it's likely. Not until um, people started writing me, like uh, uh, like private messages, and people who I knew that would, were starting to read or watch my videos, uh, people started saying questions exactly like this, like, are you going to take this and write this into a book? Like, you should put this into a book. It's really, it would be easy for you. Just, you know, make, elaborate on each video that you do, make it a chapter and turn it into a book or something like that. So lately, I, yeah, I've been getting like more and more tempted to want to try to do that. Uh, uh, I, I have so much to say, uh, and uh, I don't, know if anybody really wants to hear it <laughs> but but um but I could I know I could uh you know so yeah yeah I've thought about it yes I'm that guy from General Hospital uh for those of you who don't know I for like the past five years I've been on um a, uh, a daytime drama soap opera called General Hospital, and uh, I play the character Dylan Quartermain, um, and I, um, I was a pretty much a, a contract regular. I just recently left the show just to, you know, try my hand at pursuing other things because I was under contract, and that makes it hard to, you know, do things outside of the show um, and experiment and try to become a, you know, big time movie star because that's what we all want, really. We all just want to be movie stars. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's me. So yeah, how cool is it that uh, all the you know fans are like seeing me uh, dissing God? That's that's awesome. Um, <laughs> I I tried. You know what? It's funny. I tried for a really long time to like keep that uh, secret. You know, or just you know when I did YouTube, I just figured like you know people who were it's not there's not going to be a lot of people that are going to be have watched soap operas and watched my show that are going to recognize me uh and so i would like to delete comments you know anybody who said are you that guy uh and after a while i just realized like why why am i doing that there's no reason so yeah so there you go that's me yeah i'm him i'm that guy that guy is me yes yeah, uh, I don't, man, as long as, is if you can get away, if I can get away with using the word spiritual without that having the connotation that I believe in the truth of any proposition without sufficient evidence, um, if I, if I can be spiritual without having to think magically or believe in things uh, that are unaccounted for, or make claims about the universe that I haven't bothered to verify, uh, then, then, then my answer is yeah. Um, uh, you know, I think we all have had in some form, in some way or another, profound experiences that have awakened us to um, beauty and mystery and wonder and 
and um, all that, you know, about the world. Uh, and if that is the closest thing, you know, for me to being spiritual, then then I'll take it. Um, but I don't talk about that because that's not. Uh, I don't think that's debatable, and I, I don't think I would ever try to change anybody's mind about that or try to impose my experiences, um, my religious experiences on, onto anybody else or the, the little self-discoveries that I've made. It's, it's really none of anybody's business except for mine, uh, and so I keep that to myself, you know. So uh, there's your answer. I don't know. Uh, you know, it's it's it, that's always an interesting question to me because most people who do believe that God exists, first of all, I don't, I can't conceive of much at this point that would convince me that like the Christian God exists. It's not just that there's a lack of evidence at this point for me. I think there are just inherent in the definition of the Christian God. There are just so many self-contradictory and therefore. Uh, self-contradictory attributes and claims and uh, gestures and so on and so forth that um, it would be impossible for that that particular being to exist. But a god in general, you know, I don't know. It it's funny. You th you know you think about you look at the Bible, and it seems like in biblical times uh, everybody sort of lived in this world where God would intervene constantly and big booming voices would come down from the sky and God would flood the entire world and talk to people all the time and and uh, I think if we but we don't live in that world we live in a world where everything's pretty much normal and pretty scientific and pretty naturalistic and we speculate that there's this God when there's no evidence for such a being um, and then we say that the miracles that occur now, you know, they're still occurring now. They're just, you know, a miracle is now something like the sun rising. That's a miracle that God performed. Right. A miracle that can be accounted for easily with naturalistic science. Whereas parting of the Red Sea, not so much. Um, and that's kind of the type of miracle that, that I think would convince me that, uh, something, uh, is some really, really powerful consciousness is out there. Uh, but uh, there would have to be a, lo a lot of them, and they would have to be viewed by many, documented, experimented on, um, or not experimented on, but, but observable. Uh, and, uh, and we'd have to sort of come to a conclusion that, well, yeah, stuff like this obviously is happening, and it obviously is contrary to natural law, so there has to be something capable of breaking what we know as uh, laws of natural, natural law, laws of natural law, breaking natural law, I don't know, you get the idea. Um, first of all, to the person that wrote that question, thank you, that's very complimentary. Uh, I'm not, I'm not knowledgeable, I'm curious, um, I'm probably, you know, one of the least educated people uh, who does this on YouTube? Again, like I, you know, I said earlier, I'm a I'm a high school dropout, and I just, you know, I read books and things. But even then, the you know, reading books doesn't didn't equip me. wasn't what equipped me for wanting to come on here and and do post these videos. And and I just I just think a lot. I don't know. I, th I just think a lot. I think a lot, and I talk to people and. I have my views questioned all the time, and that forces me to revise my thinking, and then I talk to more people, and I have my views questioned again, and, and my, you know, I revise my thinking yet again, and that's it. I mean, that's, it's just, uh, since I was a kid, um, it was just doing that.